before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up. Unto, in other words, this, this thing is like, we were waiting until, and the church, the body of Christ, so on, we were waiting until the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Notice that the faith that Paul preaches was revealed after the law passed away. We were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Did you see what he just said? He said that this faith that we have now and we stand in, this faith was a revealed faith. Turn back to Galatians chapter number 1, look at verse 11. Galatians 1, verse 11. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Notice in verse number 15, It pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by His grace to reveal His Son in me. Uh, Paul made it very clear that the gospel that he preached was a revealed gospel. Although it was hidden, and now he could go back into the Old Testament and he could preach that Old Testament and show how it was hidden back there. No man could have got it no way unless he had the revelation that Paul gave. No man could go back there and get it. A man couldn't go into Isaiah 53 and prove that Jesus Christ died for anybody's sins uh, on a substitutionary basis except having Paul's revelation of the grace of God. You can't go back to Psalm 22. You can't go back to Genesis 22. And you can't see Christ in Isaac unless you have Paul's revelation of the gospel. Now that's what he's saying. Verse number 23, The faith which should afterwards be revealed. 